Good morning, everybody, and thank you all for being here. I'm Marit Stiles, leader of Ontario's official opposition, NDP. I'm so pleased to be joined here by our MPP for Oshawa and, uh, and uh, infrastructure critic, MPP Jennifer French. We've been back at the legislature for two weeks now, absolutely laser focused on solutions to make life easier and more affordable for people across Ontario. These are difficult economic times and people are being forced to make some tough decisions and tough choices every day. We need smart and practical solutions to help make life easier and affordable to meet the moment that people are in. That's why this afternoon, the Ontario NDP will be forcing a vote in the legislature to remove tolls for truck drivers on Highway 407, people who are stuck paying some of the highest tolls in North America. Removing this toll re will reduce travel time for truckers by up to 80 minutes. I know I was in Brampton just a few days ago and heard from drivers who are stuck with these high tolls or people who are sitting in bumper to bumper traffic. They need solutions like these because things are not getting any easier for Ontarians under this government. We know that the trucking and logistics industry is a pillar of Brampton's economy. In fact, according to Brampton City Summit Economic uh, Development Plan, this sector contributes roughly $2 billion to Canada's GDP yearly. Not only is the trucking industry so vital to Ontario and Canada's economy, it also keeps the wheels moving, no pun intended, in our province and in our country. From farmers' fields and barns to the grocery store and then to your family table. It's truckers who get it there. I also heard from them about how long and grueling the hours are they spend on the road, sometimes 12 to 15 hours straight. Can you imagine how tiring and stressful it must be to spend all that time behind the wheel, let alone stuck in traffic? Meanwhile, we have Highway 407 sitting nearly empty because of ridiculously high tolls no one should have to pay. Freeing the 407 up will, will make sure that tr truckers get to their destinations faster, will give them more time to rest and get them back home to their families fast, faster. And, and I want to talk as well about other commuters because while this will benefit truckers and the trucking industry, the, the other benefit is to all commuter, commuters in the GTHA who are going to spend less time stuck in traffic. That means uh, less congestion, it's good for the environment. It means that families are going to be able to get home uh, for dinner faster. Uh, and, you know, I think when we look at all of the solutions that have been put forward by the province, this is one of the solutions that they haven't been considering. And we, we don't really understand why it would be immediate relief for so many people. For the province, it means improved freight movement, direct uh, diverting that truck traffic and reducing congestion on the 401 it's really a, a win-win and it simply makes sense if the government cares about life, ma life making life more affordable and more convenient they're going to vote yes to our motion this afternoon uh, they're going to say yes to commuters who are sitting in traffic not moving they're going to say yes to an industry that could really use their help right now and and all of these things you know are good reasons that we're going to be bringing forward in our opposition Position Day uh, debate this afternoon uh, where we try to convince the government to do the right thing. And we're going to force a vote on this issue because we think it's that important. And with that, I thank you for being here and I'm happy to take your questions. Well, you know, I mean, first of all, I think this is, an, this is something that's going to help people right now across the GTHA. Um, uh, the government clearly knows and acknowledges that tolls are an issue for a lot of people right now who are struggling with affordability issues um, and sitting in congestion, uh, but they don't seem to be willing to do anything actually about it. They, they bring forward a bill that includes, you know, a referendum if, if any new tolls are going to be introduced, and yet they won't address the tolls on the highway that exists right now. So uh, we think it's a win-win for everybody across the GTHA. Uh, certainly I was in Brampton on Friday talking to people in the industry and, and to commuters as well. And uh, and they seem to be very supportive of the idea. Uh, you mean the Mimico by-election? 
sorry, the Mimico, the Milton by-election? Uh, I'm thinking Mim Mimico. Uh, oh, the Durham by-election? I'm sorry, I'm not sure which by-election we're talking about. Oh, Durham. Uh, yeah, federal by-election. Um, you know, I, I'm, MPP French might want to speak to it. We were out just a few weeks ago knocking on doors, just last week actually, and talking to small business owners in the riding in Durham where the federal election is happening today. Uh, we have a candidate, MP, um, candidate Chris Borgia. He's fantastic. Uh, he's an electrician, IBW member, young guy who, you know, has a great, you know, has works really, really hard and talks about the struggle to be able to afford a home in the region. I think uh, his election would be a great, uh, great for the people of Durham. Uh, and we are certainly supporting him and hopeful that he'll do well today. So just to clarify, I mean, yeah. you're not saying or suggesting removing the tolls off of the entire 407 for commercial trucking. Mm -hmm. You're just saying for the provincially owned portion, right? Because the mm -hmm. province has no control over that, the, the vast majority of um, we are, well, do you want to answer that question? But I'm, I'm happy to. Yeah, go but, ahead. Um, and I'm Jennifer French, and I'm, I'm proud to be the, the critic for infrastructure, transportation, and highways. Uh, and the 407 ETR, which of course is the private portion, and 407 East, the provincial portion, um, it's just one long stretch for those trucks. And so um, we believe that the province has an opportunity. Uh, they certainly have turn their backs on that billion dollar fine. Um, we think that they absolutely could exert some leverage and have that conversation to indeed remove uh, the tolls for transport trucks uh, across the, the 407, um, the, in, the entire piece. And as someone from the Durham region, I was very proud to introduce a private member's bill to take the tolls off the 412 and the 418, and it took the government four years to figure it out. Um, and remove those tolls, but I, I do believe that where there's a will, there's a way, and today is that vote to ask them if they're willing to come to the table and have those conversations on behalf of commuters and the, the trucking industry. Mm -hmm. But the motion today would very specifically deal with that the kind of eastern portion of the Highway 407, right, or just the 407? It's just the provincially owned portion is what? It's the 407 in it's, its 407. entirety. So you do, we're including the provincial portion and the private portion. Yeah. Okay, so what mechanism would the province Sorry. actually have to be able to, is it a legislation, is it a regulation to be able to control the, um, or is it just asking uh, the owners of the 407 if they, if they can't quite do it themselves? Look, you know, a terrible deal it appears. I mean, we don't know all the details of the contract, but we do know that a bad deal was made with this company many years ago. We know that the company is not succeeding in meeting uh, the requirements that were set up under said contract because uh, they were supposed to be fine and owe the province about a billion dollars uh, because they don't have enough simply put, enough cars and trucks on the highway. Uh, so we really want the government to get in there uh, and talk to the company. And I think, you know, they've shown before that they're willing to open up those contracts. Let's go. I mean, people in the province of Ontario need immediate relief. Uh, everything the government talks about doing right now is going to take 10 years or more and cost billions of dollars. Here is something that they could do right now. And so I think the government needs to, uh, again, like this government gave up a billion dollars in congestion penalties um, that were owed by the private operator. Uh, the public is already stuck paying millions uh, for that bad decision. Uh, and so this gov the government, I think, should use the leverage they have to uh to to talk to the company and make sure that we remove those tolls yeah absolutely you know they've been willing to do it before i don't see why they wouldn't right now you mean like opening up the contract like uh, tearing up the contract with the 407 and starting starting a new or i think they should be looking at renegotiating that portion of the contract they should be talking to the company about their expectations again we know the company isn't meeting expectations because there's simply not enough vehicles um, using the highway. How are we going to get the vehicles onto the highway? How are we going to divert uh, all of that th that traffic from the 401 to the 407? You know, I think it's clear something significant has to happen here, and the government needs to show that they are they're willing to do that. And that's why we're bringing this forward today. But is that in your motion to, to open up the contract? Or Our motion asks the government to reduce the tolls for or eliminate the tolls for truckers on the 407 the government in it, it specifically we are absolutely talking about the whole 407. so that, that would mean some kind of compensation obviously to the company right um or some kind of provincial uh taxpayer funding in order to to make that work have you has the NDP calculated how much something like this would actually cost you know 
This was a bad contract that should never have been signed in the first place, clearly. Uh, the conservatives under a previous conservative premier made a very bad decision, and they can make that right now. Uh, they need to try to renegotiate this. They need to, uh, you know, to uh, they, they can come forward with the details of the contract are. I'd love to see it. I think a lot of Ontarians would. Um, but the truth is we believe, you know, the government has, has uh, you know, they've torn up uh, and unfortunately, and thrown out contracts with the renewables, for example, before. Uh, I'm, we're simply asking them to get back in there and renegotiate with the company to to remove the tolls on, for truckers. It seems like uh, the government has the power to find a solution, and they're simply not interested in doing that. Can I just, just ask? So, so the, I mean, the conservatives seem to be really focused on you know, wedging their opponents, right? With the carbon tax uh, and Zonny yeah. mm -hmm. um and they've done it to the NDP as well. Is this your way of kind of wedging, wedging the government uh, on an issue that they've kind of committed to in terms of removing tolls, but they're not committed to doing it or going the whole distance? Is this your way of kind of putting them on their, on the defensive and putting them in a, in a sticky spot? You know, I, I mean, I think it does put them in a sticky spot because I think it forces them to address the fact that this, this legislation that they've introduced doesn't actually accomplish anything for Ontarians. But, you know, ultimately, for us, what, what's, you know, the reason that we're moving this forward, the reason that I'm moving this forward is because uh, I talk to people every day who are struggling, right? They're struggling with affordability, the cost of everything. They're sitting in traffic, unable to get home to their families. Uh, we know, I was speaking to folks in the trucking industry on Friday, that, uh, you know, it's, it's desperation time, right? Trucking companies are folding. And so we're just finding, trying to actually find some ways that would provide immediate relief. Um, the government likes to talk about these, you know, put forward bills that, you know, get get it done when they're really not getting anything done. <laughs> you know, everything seems to be a 10 year, 20 year plan that costs billions of dollars. Why not actually do something right now that would provide immediate relief for people? Well, the, I mean, again, I will say, you know, it was my, our, my colleague, Jennifer French, who had to push them for years to remove those, mm -hmm. those tolls. Um, and this legislation that they're introducing doesn't actually remove anything. It does nothing to change the status quo, right? Nothing. It, nothing. it just simply says that if they're going to introduce a new toll, there has to be a referendum. Well, I mean, what about the existing situation? Again, it's a, it's a bill that proposes to do something that it doesn't do. The only, the only highway that has a toll right now, the 407, they're not even touching it. So, you know, we're, we're not even saying get rid of all the tolls on the 407, but we are saying here is something that we, you know, having talked to the experts and, you know, you just have to listen to the radio right now. There's also um, environmental reasons, environmental groups that are interested in, in this policy, in this proposal, because it will immediately take some of the congestion off the 401. Like, let's better use the highways that we have, right, At, right now to provide immediate relief for Ontarians. Do you want to add anything? <laughs> I didn't mean to have such a, uh, a response, but with the so-called Get It Done Act, it does nothing uh, when it comes to the tolls in the Durham region. So the Durham region is the only part of Ontario that, that has toll specific uh, to them, right? The 407 East in this case. Um, and the, the Get It Done legislation actually uh, doesn't have language on, around the 115 and 35, for example. That's not a protected highway in future uh, when it comes to tolls. And, and it's just as someone from the Durham region who knows what it means to keep traffic moving and flowing and also, you know, to remove the unfair tolls in the 412, 418, which as a broader community we were successful in doing, um, I think that's why I had a re response um, to, you know, the government's promises about toll removal. It has nothing to do uh, with the existing tolls, and it doesn't make a difference in our in our community. But I do think, as Marit has said, we have an opportunity here for the government to look at options. This motion says we're making it a priority, uh, and I can't imagine the government would vote against our motion. I imagine that they would want to start those conversations and see what opportunities there are. So we'll see. Have there been conversations while writing this motion or talking about those conversations around the I don't think so. Um, Unless you have as many committees. No, um, 
No, and I, I haven't heard anything about, you know, would-be tolls or any of that. I think that the government announcement about protecting against would-be tolls, perhaps, uh, is malarkey. I don't know that there was anything <laughs> that it connected to in real life. And you could quote her on that. <laughs> Sorry. I love it. Malarkey. I'm still confused at what you're asking. You're asking the 407 to um, walk away from the revenue they're getting with the trucks that they're getting on the highway now mm -hmm. and also provide a whole nine Well, yeah, I mean, I am saying, we are saying that the tolls on the 407 should be removed for truckers to encourage truckers to move the trucks over to the 407 and away from the 401. And at, and absolutely, uh, the company will not be collecting that revenue. But as of right now, a billion dollars has been basically waived in fees that they were supposed to pay the province of Ontario because they re they didn't make um, uh, the required they didn't have the required number of volume volume on the 407 of vehicles. Was that COVID? It's was COVID years? yes yes yeah yeah but I mean if you go look go to the 407 right now go to the 401 go to the 407 mm -hmm. big difference how do we move vehicles from the 401 to the 407? And, and look, we're not going to, we don't, we don't, we don't pretend that, not, we've never pretended that we're fans of the deal with the private operator. That contract that was signed uh, by the Conservatives years ago was a bad deal for Ontarians. There's no question. Uh, so you're not going to hear me, you know, uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lose any sleep uh, here for the, for the company that has made billions and millions of dollars off of Ontarians uh, for years. You know, now is the time to give back. 407 you know, removing the tolls on the 407 for truckers only immediately moves a lot of those trucks off the 401, provides relief for all commuters. Uh, I think it's a win-win for everyone. And I think uh, the government has shown in the past they weren't, you know, they'd go in there and, and talk about renegotiating contracts. Well, here's one. Let's go. You know, they have, they have, they should have some leverage here, mm -hmm. given that they're, they've so far not collected the billion dollars in, in fines that they should have received. Last question. Do you really think the Pro Sun is going to wait off a billion dollars, billions and millions of dollars of revenue as a result of letting the trucks on free? Are they going to have increased maintenance? It's going to cost them a lot of money. Do you really expect that? I, like, I think. Like, yeah, we'll sign it off. You know what? I think um, when things, times are tough for Ontarians and there are solutions sitting right beho before us and a company has an opportunity to be part of that solution, they should. You know, uh, I, I do absolutely think that the government should, I can't think of a reason why the government wouldn't support this. Mm -hmm. You know, let's go in, let's talk to the company, let's get those, let's remove those tolls just for truckers, and let's start to actually move, the, move Ontario forward, right? Let's move commuters home faster, let's move uh, products faster from one point to the other. Um, let's get Ontario moving, right? And I can't think of a reason why the government wouldn't go there. They, they've cer certainly shown in the past that they were willing to tear up contracts before. Uh, I'm not asking them to tear up a contract. Uh, but what I am doing is saying, you know, get the company to the table and let's talk about a solution here that will help to provide some immediate relief for people right now. Does the NDP have a candidate in Milton just yet? Uh, we do not have somebody nominated yet. Okay. And, yeah. and is it true, is it the NDP's preference that both the um, Middlesex Lanton um, by election and the one in Milton happen on the same day, or should they happen? Times, you guys have I mean, I, I don't, I don't, we don't have a, a, a strong opinion about that. Obviously, one has to happen before the other. I mean, obviously, the timelines are, are, are set. But um, it, you know, uh, if the government wants to go ahead and do it on the same day, fine. We're fine either way. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, everybody.